in Nigeria, the lack of blood banks in hospitals following the spread of HIV AIDS affects efforts to reduce women dying in childbirth. Getting blood supply to save lives remains a challenge in the country. Here's the story. The tension is palpable. It's a matter of life and death here in the maternity ward of Matala Mohammed Hospital in Nigeria. It's one of the busiest maternity centers in all of West Africa, with an average of 30 deliveries in 24 hours. But something is going terribly wrong with one of those deliveries. And Sakina Mohammed's life hangs in the balance. Midwife Aisha Bukar is desperately trying to help. I was trying to explain to her that she should bear down because she's carrying a multiple pregnancy. We noticed she's very weak, so we set off IV, 5% distress for her. Sakina gives birth to her first twin, a healthy girl. But there are complications. The second twin is breech and won't deliver. Dr. Bello Dico, head of obstetrics and gynecology here, fears Sakina could hemorrhage, one of the leading causes of maternal mortality, according to a recent United Nations Population Fund report. Because of the associated complications, the second delivery should not exceed five to 10 minutes. Sakina labors in pain for close to an hour before the second baby is finally born. It's a boy. He was very severe asphyxia. He need oxygen now, and we don't have oxygen here. Um, let's use the manual one. It's not working. I don't want the baby to die. I don't want her to miss that baby. But while they're trying to stabilize the baby, Sakina's condition suddenly takes a turn. She begins hemorrhaging and is in need of blood. She has to receive blood transfusion. But finding blood is a challenge in Nigeria, says the hospital's head midwife, Farida Babel. They mobilize people to come and donate blood into hospital. But now due to this HIV, so we stop this. With time running out, Sakina's husband races to find blood. So all these things takes time and delay, and it causes the death of the woman. That is most of the thing that causes the death of our women here. His search for Sakina's rare blood type takes him to surrounding hospitals and private blood suppliers. One pint of blood costs the equivalent of nearly 70 US dollars. The average Nigerian makes just over $90 a month. It is really disheartening to see a patient dying for a preventable cause. As far as I'm concerned, hemorrhage is a preventable cause. Sakina's husband finally locates the blood and he races it to the hospital. He's made it in time and Sakina receives the blood transfusion. But Dr. Diko remained frustrated by the lack of supply for his maternity patients. And so he successfully lobbied health officials for his own blood bank, something which would reduce waiting times for blood by 75%. If you go inside the blood bank now, the two bridges is almost packed full. It's an important first step, he believes, but the fight to save the lives of women in Nigeria must continue. Each and every one of us came out of a woman. As long as there is one maternal mortality, it's a family mortality. <laughs> 